That's uh, the, the He plays Serena the cool hat. yellow hat, and then sometimes he just picks a ridiculous one instead. That's a Serena hat, I think. Gen 6. Yo, imagine wearing a hat and then wearing sunglasses on top of your hat. Oh, no, it's not. I think it's the boy from Gen 6. Ew. There we go, loops. Yeah, Shy Guy, pretty much the top PK here in. Oh, okay. Yeah. You gotta have faith in the man. He knows when he can win. He knows not to go too deep. Which for PK, there's a lot of room before you go too deep. If you have a jump on deck, the blast zone isn't too deep. Pika just comes back from yeah. the blast zone explosion. <laughs> oh. That's not gonna kill, but decent damage and gives Bolero a huge amount of stage positioning. I was talking to Bolero about this before. I'm not sure that that's true on Pika, like at like almost ever. I think it's completely the eye base. The the up connecting the second time. Uh well no, it's it's every character can DI eye out of it, I believe. You have to DI before the first hit, though. So it's, like, really hard to react to. I don't even know if it is reactable. Uh, All right. It's always been that way. Even in Smash 4, you could DI out of Zelda's up and It was the only thing that redeemed her as a character. That was their up, oh. up air. Yeah, we forgot about that being a... Uh, their <laughs> up air, dude. That was wild. Yeah, it's like, that guy was... Oh, you tried to read the roller. Or, okay. My man is just smash attacking. It's working, but he's just doing it. Oh, real slick Edge there. cancel, yeah. And that's pretty hard to do with Zelda. <gasps> the catch! That was so excellent because he, he knew that that was like the space that Pika wanted to go in to avoid the Phantom. I like that a lot. So Shy Guy right there, he crossed up Nared and then didn't do anything. He was waiting to see if he saw a shield drop so he can dare. I mean, so if he can down smash. That's now, not going to take it at 150. Now, thing, Pika cannot just like try and struggle with Thunder. He can't oh, yeah. go underneath her and just throw it out because Zelda, for free, can just neutral beat just in case, yep. you know? Yeah, it's all... And it's if all, that gets it, reflected, it stanks. Oh, that dare was actually kind of close. That dare would have heated Pikachu. Back air, dude. Lightning that kick, comes too out, strong. Comes out so fast. I think it's like... It's really... Five or six? It's really cool too because like they're both the same like back air and forward air. So you can like choose to use one as like a spacing tool. Actually and one of them the I believe comes out one frame faster than the other. Huh. I think forward air comes out frame five and back air comes out frame six. I could be wrong about that. Uh, but they're both very fast. That smash gonna even it up. Yeah, and as you were saying, he's not really baiting out that neutral beat roll right as Right as I speak of it. Yeah, he waited. It was a good wait. He just needs to be getting grabs off of that. Like, oh, that was good. Oh, he didn't get anything off of it. That was so good. The up to get behind the Phantom, crossing Bolero up. And now it feels like the pressure game is on in a way that it just wasn't for the earlier parts of this match. You heard that? He up you. Yep, I heard it. Zelda's moves are weird like that. Like, sometimes her neutral B, she'll get hit out of it, but the diamonds will, like, spin around her. Uh -huh. uh, then, also, you can hear the sound cue for up B. I guess it comes out before Zelda disappears. Dude, I'm so proud of Valera. He's gotten so much better recently. Oh, yeah. He had a... There was a tournament where he had some really good wins, right? Where he yeah, had it was, like, uh, fifth? two weeks ago? I think so. Maybe it wasn't at the month, was it? No, no, it was a week later. Week later. Oh, he almost beat Ling Ling. He was so yeah. close to beating Ling Ling. <gasps> Woo! Oh, wow, he actually went for that. That's so cute. He was alive too. He 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 hit he hit ledge with it. Yeah. That was insane. Yo, Bolero's out here to take heads. And he's like, yo, that that performance a couple weeks ago, not a fluke. I'm yeah. here. Look at the smile on this guy's face. Yeah. Um, and also, like, Shot Guy is one of the best players here in yeah, Westchester. Absolutely. He's always been at the top of the PR here. And if Valero could get this, it'd be a really good win to have under his belt. Mm -hmm. A win trophy case, by the way, that is growing and growing. Absolutely. <laughs> 
All right, yep. He's going Gen 2 hat. Did I see that correctly? Yes, this is his normal hat. This is the hat that I like and I accept, not the stupid Honestly, hat. Honestly, I don't like any of the Pika hats. I don't either. I, used I think to like the vanilla goggles. Pika. I think that vanilla Pika is the best hat. I play best, vanil vanilla. Best Pika. all. What? I play vanilla Pika. Yeah. I think hats look weird on his head. I miss the goggles. Except party hat. I miss party hat. I miss goggles. Why did they get rid of party hat? They gave goggles to the bad rat. They here, they're off here claiming that Smash is just a party game, and yet they take away Pikachu's party hat. So, Bolero was telling me earlier that apparently... Wow. I'm super Damn. surprised that, like, for that, actually, a lot a lot of, like, literally that interaction, letting Pikachu go to Kalos, like, if you have a recovery that is contestable uh, by Dare, like, letting him go to Kalos is brutal. He gets to go on the platform and time, time to Dare free. I think he probably would have banned Lilat and Yoshi. There's no Lilat already. Oh my god, yeah, what is he doing? Yeah. By the way, as an aside, legalize Mushroom Kingdom U. Legalize Mushroom Kingdom U. Legalize Mushroom Kingdom U. For dubs. And play triples instead. No, for, for everything. It's honestly the best stage in this game. And this isn't even me memeing. He, he dead. dead. <laughs> oh. All right, yeah, 92% right. a whole lot of extra credit. Second. It is, but at the same time, Zelda kills dummy early, especially if he can land a forward air and back air, which he's been mainly doing out of uh, Shy Guy's own combo. Yeah, if that was Town, he was dead air. <laughs> Taking so much damage. Oh, there it is, finally. Oh, so Good mix, smart. good mix, good mix. Yeah, Shy Guy's playing so much safer this game. Yeah, his pressure game is a lot more calculated. Yeah, instead of going like off stage and giving up stage presence, he's kind of like, I'm gonna. Did he, he talk to <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, look at him smiling to himself. <gasps> and he's teabagging too? Yo, what is going through Bolero's mind right now? Well, he just got his opponent to 69, so. He might as well just throw in the towel already. Uh, Shy Guy definitely was like reeling back because he definitely did not want to go on stage with that quick attack. Yeah, so Bolero right now kind of fishing for these kill moves as we're seeing. Forward and back air can be really tricky to land against Pikachu. I think that, but up air is probably the most reliable thing at this point, but he has to yeah. get Pika in a situation where he can Shy get Shy Guy's pressure is nuts right now. Yeah, I really question the stage pick. I uh, so normally yeah, the stage can be yeah, normally this stage can be uh, good for getting off the ledge because of those platforms above yeah. you. But I didn't really see Bolero trying to take advantage of it. Like, I don't know. I think the big open space in the middle actually, like I know, like a lot of zoners are just like I like big open space, and it's and the idea is I get to kind of like pick my spots. I get to throw throw out projectiles and you have to maneuver over and under them, and you don't have platforms to work with, so I can kind of like know your trajectory. I think Pika just has too many options. I think the big open space lets him do too much. That's why, you know, we love FD Kellos. Yes, but also Pika does a lot of platforms. It's better for Pika's neutral, but the combo game is better on yeah. a stage of platforms. Also, I just want to point out, game room was huge because it means that now we have a game three on Bolero's counter pick, which is Smashville, which is a very... Yo, that's a, that's oh a kill. Oh my god, that was, that was massive for him. Oh, uh, he just that missed up? time back. Yeah, no, that was actually really close. That was Smash almost class. Oh, I no way he's dead again. Okay. I really like him baiting out the, uh, the neutral B off stage. And then going for the dare after. A couple frames sooner and out of a spike. Oh, he had the jab lock. But he went for down tilt instead. Uh, it seems like Bolero's getting a little bit antsy right now. You see him throwing out a lot of these uppies, which, as far as oh, options go, that was one of the riskiest. I don't know why. Oh, clever. That was a cancel, too. That was 
Yeah. He's been, but it's way too stale. It no longer is going to be Miguel. It's been cool that he's been, actually, I really like the way he's been utilizing it because Pikachu can be really hard to, you know, he's mobile, hard to lock down. So instead, he's just teleporting at him from across the map. Yeah. And because they're cancels, it's not even, it's not even, like, dangerous. That's smash He's going to be the up No. The up Yeah, uh, the re-grab. Sega's like, I'm not letting that happen. Yeah, he was trying to play a little bit of a uh, a cheeky game right there. Again, this time's the up smash. Really big for Shy Guy. It means he's still alive and he has a chance to get even more extra credit. That oh. was not technical. <laughs> Bolero's recoveries in general, though, have been so phenomenal. If Shaga had delayed it, it would have hit out and wouldn't have killed. But getting stage spiked at 120% your Omega death. Now it's worth noting that I, even though only the he only hit with the first hit, that still does add to the stale counter of, yeah. the, of Uppy. Oh, that was actually... Oh. Oh what? God. That up smash would have put him in a pretty bad situation, actually. That up smash might have killed. At 45 out of That was so. a fully charged death smash. On Pikachu, on Smash Bros. I, I'm not saying it would have, but I would not be surprised in the least if it did. I'm also surprised that Bolero isn't recovering high, like with a downward dangled up beat. I mean... Shy Guy hasn't, like, I think the reason why he hasn't done that is because Shy Guy hasn't been going off stage unless. Well, no, 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 because the important part about that is.